Secretary General, Excellencies, greetings from the Commonwealth of Learning. Thank you for the opportunity to be virtually present. The Commonwealth of Learning is the youngest of the three intergovernmental organizations and was established when Canada hosted the 1987 Chogam in Vancouver. Our headquarters are in beautiful British Columbia with the regional office, the Commonwealth Educational Media Center for Asia, SEMCA, in New Delhi. Given the diversity of our Commonwealth, we support regional centers for West Africa in Nigeria, for the SADC subregion in Botswana, uh, the Pacific in Fiji, and Malta hosts the Commonwealth Center for Connected Learning. What does CALL do? Our mission is to expand access to education and training through distance learning and the use of technologies. CALL was born at a moment when satellite technologies were beginning to be used for education. In these times of COVID-19, the world has had to pivot to distance education and technology almost overnight. Technology will become an integral part of teaching and learning where blended approaches online and in person will be the new norm. As an intergovernmental organization with the mandate to promote distance learning, CALL is best placed to serve member states as the demand for distance education grows. For example, Namibia has recently requested call to support the transition of its open school, the Namibian College of Open Learning, into an open university to provide quality tertiary education to thousands who would otherwise not have the opportunity. The pandemic has also highlighted the wide inequalities that exist in our societies. Less than half the population of the Commonwealth has access to the internet. So how do we reach those on the other side of the digital divide? More girls are expected to drop out of school in the wake of the pandemic. And persons with disabilities could face further marginalization. Call is addressing each of these issues with innovations, and one of them is Mobi MOOCs. Call is working with its partners and networks to mount a massive campaign involving communities and families on the benefits of education for girls to ensure that they are not left behind. CALL is also supporting persons with disabilities by developing resources, training teachers who work with persons with disabilities, and partnering with specialist organizations. Job losses have been another unfortunate outcome of the pandemic. And reskilling is now a pressing priority for all Commonwealth states. CALL in partnership with the Coursera Workforce Recovery Program has provided free licenses to more than 115,000 Commonwealth citizens and 54% of these are women. Under each license, a le learner can access nearly 4,000 professional online courses from 200 top universities in the world and earn multiple certificates without the need to pay anything. Access to computers and connectivity was limited in many countries, but participants used their mobile devices and local library facilities to complete the courses. While 49 Commonwealth countries signed up, the maximum uptake has been in the Caribbean. Guyana, in fact, has been the leader 
with 30,000 unemployed citizens enrolled. The Ministry of Education Guyana and the Private Sector Commission have signed an MOU for recognizing the credentials earned under this program for employment purposes. Since call colleagues found these courses beneficial, we have also shared them, these Coursera licenses, with staff at the Commonwealth Secretariat and the Commonwealth Foundation. Partnership and collaboration are essential in tiding over this crisis. Call in is collaborating with Comsec and the Commonwealth Foundation on youth development and empowering civil society, and of course this program. And we will continue to work together for a stronger Commonwealth that brings value to each member state. Because of the global acceptance of distance learning and technologies, call has moved from margin to mainstream. Going forward, anything that can be done effectively online will be delivered online. I look forward to briefing you more about our work in subsequent sessions. Meanwhile, thank you for your attention.